So how did he get in? Did he get under the fence? If you go from the other side right there, you can see where it has a little gap, and they somehow fit themselves right underneath. All right, let's go in. Come straight at him or from behind him? Yeah, you can go straight from this side right here. He's getting ready to run. He definitely wants to run. Should we have a gun on the outside there? Oh, look, he's, can he get under? He's trying to look under. Just grab him. Oh! He was sly. He was quick. I caught a fence. <laughs> so is this all erosion? Yes. From iguanas? Yes. All this right here was caused by iguanas. These pipes that you're seeing, Yeah. Uh, at one point, you didn't see them. That smell that, you, that you're smelling right uh -huh. there, Mike? Yeah. That's that feces, iguana feces smell. It's horrific. It really is a terrible stench. It is. So the that one is... thing you want to do, though, when you're moving up, don't make eye contact. Kind of look off, because they're a prey animal. They're used to seeing predators keeping an eye on them. Yeah. Right there, you see it? The black and green. When you grab them from the thicker part of their tail, they can rip it off. If you grab them from the end, more, than, more likely than not, they can't. They don't break it off. So you can grab them from the end right there, but hold on tight and pull them towards the bank. And then as soon as you pull them, grab them with the other. But you got to be quick. He's going to see your hand going down. So you got to dive in. Quick. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yep. Got to be quick. <laughs> Might have hesitated. I just can't get over the damage, though. Look at this. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is what we're dealing with, right? Yeah. So they're. Condos, apartments, all over the place. So all this stuff is being exposed. And the next thing you know, you're yeah. you're in a sinkhole. Yep. Exactly. All right. Now I don't feel so bad. Let's kill some. Uh, yeah, here? Definitely. Right there. Oh. Little guy. Here's a little guy. Headshot. Almost feel bad, but. Ooh. Little guys grow to be big guys. I don't think this is a good time to tell you, but there's a gator in this water. Oh, no, it's a great time to tell me. <laughs> yeah. There's that little guy. See, this one's rough. This one's too, too close to the gecko. <laughs> this is the one that's, this is where we're gonna hit the angry letters. Probably. Why'd you have to shoot the gecko, Mike? That was actually a really good shot. Well, if you take a little shock and all out of your voice, it sounds more like a compliment, you know what I mean? Yeah. Actually. <laughs> the situation is truly out of control. He's giving you just enough for the kill spot. I'm trying not to ricochet off that yellow. It's fine. Nice. There you go. Good stuff, Mike. Man's pretty good at it. Grab him, grab him. <laughs> <laughs> grab him, grab him, grab him. Jeez, oh, get him. Get him, Alejos. Get him, Alejos. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> you got him. <laughs> Unbelievable. Not today. <sighs> All right. Yeah, that was, uh, that was money right there. Just so you guys know, those water, those packs are not waterproof. Yeah. They are very expensive. So if you think you're going to go in, I, I uh, okay. let me know. I got you. Just I got don't you. dive. I've been wrecking Jones's audio gear for years. All right. I'll probably get an angry letter from him, too. Nice. He's there down. There you go. Boom. Oh, here, right here. there, right run, there, right there. Right there. Go, Mike. Go, Mike. Go, Mike. Why is it always got to be me, dude? Go, there are five people go, standing man. around. He, he's, he's, grab him. Grab him. Right he's there. Six Right there. Grab him, Mike. Come on. Put him down. Put him down. No, no, when he brings him up, I'll get him, Tom. I'll get him. Seems like a nice moment to gently remind pet owners that iguanas are not pets. And this is what happens every single time when people insist on bringing invasive species back to the house. Come on, guys. Don't do that. And it's a wrap for that guy. We could do this all day. As a matter of fact, we did. But first, another brief word to those who are about to fire off an angry email. People who would say, is there a, a kinder way, a more humane you way? You can't relocate them. OK. It's a, no, you, there you, is no other method currently. You will get you fined can, by the state of Florida Wildlife Commission. Fined if you relocate. Because yes. if, you, if you bring a, a female really? iguana to another property that doesn't have a problem, uh -huh. then you just reintroduce the problem into that area that didn't have yeah. a problem. Right. Every shot we take is trying to be a humane one shot. But what's going to happen to these and the other ones we've shot? We take them to our warehouse, and we, um, we make them into chum. We create the circle of life for them. Uh, we throw them back out into the ocean for crabs Lobster. and for fishermen to uh, catch the good stuff that we can actually eat. This is a testing facility for Tom's chum-making business. Iguana-based chum is a winner because the raw materials are 100% free. 
Talk about a profitable model. Sorry, but there is nothing tender about this process. You come from back from where the limbs are. Mm -hmm. Just behind the shoulder. Now you have all that. Ah. Push all that out. Throw it all in there. And what the end of the outcome is, if you get this meaty hamburger looking type of meat. Yep, it looks like hamburger. It's not. Nice little go. Yeah, and he is open. I've smelled a lot of bad things over the years. <laughs> this is another one. There are no words to describe a smell like this. Fortunately, with Zach on hand, I don't need words. It is a powerful funk, and it will flat out gag you if you're not ready for it. Unless, of course, you're a fish, in which case, where'd Zach go? You'd be salivating right now. He's gone. We lost Zach? We lost Zach. This part of the show is called Revenge of the Iguana. So what we have here is a uh, five, what is that, a five gallon bucket? Five gallon bucket. About three quarters of the way filled yes. with chum. So roughly $40 worth of shredded iguana meat. Exactly. Uh, which you're gonna be able to sell uh, one of these days, hopefully sooner than later. Exactly. I love what you're doing here. You're providing a service to the state and you figured out a way to make some money after it. Real you're welcome. Real pleasure, really? Edwin? Right, he doesn't care. <laughs> Thanks again, guys. It was great. I doubt I'll ever sleep again. Anyway, that's what 40 pounds of chum looks like. It didn't come easy, but nothing ever does when your iguanas are out of control. Thus ends the bloody saga of two very different businesses on two surprisingly similar missions. One company determined to save lives with a simulation that redefines realism. The other determined to save neighborhoods from the invasive species that simply will not go without a fight. I'm glad to have met them both and happy to know they're both out there trying to make life a bit more civilized for the rest of us. But I probably won't be back anytime soon. I know it looks like a bloodbath, but what's happening is important. If it weren't happening, this part of Florida would be a complete disaster. So the next time you're driving down the road and you see one, well, I was gonna say run over it, but don't do that, that'd be irresponsible. 